Hey, what's up? I barely have enough time to record this video. I am cutting it close. I've uh, got to go somewhere uh, pretty soonish, but I think I have enough time to watch some Metallic Rouge episode two. Last week we got introduced to our characters. One is named Rouge. I remember that. What's the other one's name? Is like Naomi or something? Do I have my notes here? Uh, yeah, Naomi. Nice! I'm so good at this. And then there was Sarah Fitzgerald, who uh, who we probably don't have to worry about too much anymore. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean there was a lot of lore in the last episode. I I think I'm I think I'm following enough that uh, I'll be able to continue following along with it. Um, so we're gonna jump right into the episode. Um, support the video if you can, and if you want to see more of these reactions to Metallic Rouge, if you want me to continue this series, I'll be monitoring how well these videos do, and sometimes I will choose shows whether or not to continue going on based on certain factors, and some of those factors is. Do you guys like it? So if you like it, let me know in the comments below and support the video. Um, and my Patreon account, as always, has the full-length versions of the reactions. That's in the description. So um, you can watch the entire episode with me and get so much more content. Hundreds and hundreds of videos on there right now. Go check it out. Anyway, let's jump into this Metallic Rouge episode 2. The one seen at the site of Dr. Roy Junghart's murder. That red Oh, figure. shit. It recognizes his face by the back of his head. I'm concerned. If Alethea's following this, then so are we. Investigator Ash. I'm not sure I agree that's enough reason to Ash? go all the way to Mars. Chalk it up to instinct. Imagine being on a plane to Mars. Okay. Such an interesting vibe this OB has. Weird, like, 80s vibe. I brought these for you. Mm -hmm. Wow, she sounded like she had some emotion there in her voice, <laughs> Rouge. Our newest product will blow you off your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Now I'm picking up. Hey, don't miss the view. See, check it out over there. Aw. <laughs> Name is so sweet. She's good with kids. Fighting battles around the clock and making wow. sure those usurpers high in orbit got a taste of what's coming to them. Do I have a story for you? Okay. Once upon a time, there were aliens from far beyond our galaxy. But wait! The second group wasn't nice at all and started Oh, so they're boom, usurpers? Attacking human in the name, so we called them usurpers. Cool. Now, if you look to your right, you'll see the battered wreckage of the weapons we This is a good to way to give us exposition. <laughs> Stronger than the rest? Huh? The missiles! Neons. No, the answer is neons. Yeah. Neons I'm paying attention. Aiding humanity in the fight against the usurpers. <laughs> You're a neon, right? <laughs> Have you ever had to kill someone? He could never hurt anybody. He's as gentle as a pussycat. He looks gentle. It's a series of rules programmed into our hearts. The first one says we can't harm humans. Yep. The way he took on that Honey, war machine. Please don't bring this up on our vacation. <laughs> it's time to talk about happier things. Well, these they seem happy. My duty is to I'm all right for the moment, but I appreciate your concern. Huey seems sweet. Madam, <laughs> shall I bring out a blanket for you? And seems like they treat him nicely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Wow. What a How is this grown up? <laughs> I understand. Uh, oh, That's so that funny. Girl. Have I stumbled upon some beautiful historian? Just a dweeb who's into old stuff. <laughs> and I'm huge. It's a little bulky, a little moody, and a giant pain in the ass for sure. It's not that I big. Compare it to my other partners. I'm a journalist. The name's Jill. Jill. I've been studying neon presence within human society, but there are still some who face discrimination. And I can certainly believe that story? from what I've seen. What brings you to Wellstown? Couple of cringeworthy history dweebs. <laughs> she knows how cringe we are. <laughs> <laughs> I like Naomi a lot. You can call me Naomi Orthman. My name's Rouge Redstar. Rouge Redstar. Did we hear that in the first episode? Redstar. This nice lady will be happy to take Oh my God. Rouge doesn't want to. Don't I get a say? She's stuck in a hospital in Wellstown. Aww. She can't go outside right now. Oh, careful, Jesus. No wonder you're not allowed outside. Give me back the camera. Ah. IT CEO, only tell me if I get it. <laughs> Fine, tell me. Guess you could say I work with bodies. Bodies. You're a. Sewer. <laughs> Wait, that's a really good joke. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> <Target located. 
Initiate the operation. Is he autopsy or make sure you or does he kill by. people? The ray guns. Oh shit. Look at this woman. If you hand her I'm over, looking. We'll you hand her over, we'll well, that's not good. Where's that chick go? Wasn't she sitting right here? Rouge, you gotta what? get out of here. Just hand her over because they said so. They would never let a bunch of witnesses walk away at mm -hmm. all. Then what are we supposed to do? One of these things in ages, man. Just get us out of here quickly. Okay, now how do I start? Move it! Oh my god. I'll handle this. Three minutes. Three seconds. Two minutes. Ninety seconds. Oh my I god. Think Ninety you. seconds? Okay. <laughs> oh, so far so good. Oh no, Huey! Oh, nice, Joe. Damn, they're getting away. I used to ever heard of the Sonic Lady? Well, here she is in the flesh. <laughs> You're glad it was nothing but a stray bullet. Are you okay, sir? Useless piece of garbage. You're at least supposed he's to okay. Your master. Let's take a look at he your He did, world. didn't he? Didn't he jump in front? The correct answer was doctor. Oh, okay. So when he says it works with bodies. That, that's a weird way to call yourself a doctor. I feel like he's autopsy. What are they called? Coroners? He's a coroner. Wander in the labyrinth. Wow, title drop halfway through the episode. One like this. On it, chief. You're not gonna make her go alone. <laughs> nice! Jump from that high. Watch everyone else. But then what's gonna happen if the mercs come back? Down. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so no cute, way. these two. Shots. Think they're from the SOA. And I love their voice acting. The Yo, bust a move. Guess I should be scared, <laughs> but this is amazing. You told me you were after some bad guys. It seems that wasn't just a premise. Yes, well, it was. The bad guys are also after Thank her by the sounds of it. There. Wanna go take some pictures? We'll show your brother you can do it just oh. as well as him. <laughs> I love these characters. They're so sweet. Uh, a corpse. Uh, I'm glad we're seeing the nice side to Rouge. The soldiers who fought beside this episode. Humans. Also called a cylinder head. A cylinder head. It's just a pile of scrap. That's what most mechanics. Inspecting battlefield wreckage. Who are you? They cut away. I wanted to know who he was. No way, did she leave? Careful. Huh? Whoa! What did you do? This programming has some bad reactions to movement. Oh shit. Hold still and keep quiet. Go to sleep mode with no harm done. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, kid. You're on! <laughs> oh shit, man. Whoa! Oh Wait, no. Is that a cylinder head? Okay, alright, they're gonna fight the cylinder head. That's good. One of the enemies will be taken out. Oh, I think I know which enemy is taken out. Oh my god, These, this is actually a really strong machine. Reminds me of the uh, robot from The Incredibles. Okay, Rouge. You gonna transform? Yes, you are. There she is. <laughs> no time to explain. Kidding me? Okay. Come on, Rouge. Huey's so good. He's such a good guy. This is pretty cool. Oh my god. It's like Doc Ock. And the music's sick. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hit him with them. Nice, knock their heads together. Oh my God, that almost killed everyone in that bus. That was crazy. What a crazy hey, fight scene. I don't see Rouge here. Uh, I'm sure she's fine. Yeah, she'll make it to you. Such trust. Who are you? <laughs> Everyone keeps asking who he is and we don't get any answers. It's incredible. 
<laughs> Aww. I have one, so I get it. Aww. Thank you. The cutie patootie came back real adult. <laughs> so proud. That's so cute. Oh, is this an ED? Oh, cool style. Yeah, I really like the style. It's so cool. This artist kind of sounds familiar. It's not like Koshi Zoo or whatever her name is, is it? No, it isn't. I didn't even see who it was. They get a good grasp on the vibe for this show, don't they? They know it well. Okay, as I said, I d barely have time to do this video, so you're going to see a very quick reaction here from me. But I'll go over the, the things that I wanted to talk about as fast as possible. So we're going to speed run this like R Rouge had to speed run killing all the people in the bus. So, um, uh... Firstly, they take planes to Mars. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I mean, I think it was like a proper spaceship or whatever, but it was like the interior was clearly modeled after like a commercial flight. Like it just looks like they're on a regular flight, but they're flying to Mars. Just pretty crazy. Like, and I kind of thought when the show started in Mars, I assumed that Mars was like the only place that had humanity at this point, but it seems like there's probably Earth and a bunch of other places and Mars. Um, and Mars is like a place that had a, a big war and they were like the, the, the bastion of the last bastion of hope or whatever, the ones that were fighting against the usurpers. Now they talked about the visitors and usurpers. Something that I want to mention is since the, uh, it's early in the show and they told us that visitors are the good aliens and the usurpers are the bad aliens, I would not be surprised if that was flipped. Like absolutely. I would, I would not be surprised if that was a history is written by the victors type thing and they weren't actually evil aliens and we'll find that out later. Um, Huey was awesome. I really love Huey. He's a very sweet guy. <laughs> I just like simple, nice guys like that. Um, and he seemed very happy to be serving people. Um, and so I hope they treat him right and I hope he's around. Um, Jill was a cool character as well. Uh, it was like, it was cool how she gave us a, and like, or she immediately like recognized Naomi's talents and such. I mean, immediately recognized both of their talents. She's inquisitive. She would be good to like move the plot forward. I hope she sticks around. I mean, there's several characters in this episode that I hope actually stick around and are reoccurring characters rather than us just moving through different places and meeting different people. I, I actually would like if there was like a consistent, somewhat consistent cast in this. Um, um, I really liked the joke of like, I work with bodies and she goes, you're a masseur? Like, that's just a very, very solid joke. And it works well, because I, I feel like a lot of the time jokes like that, where it's like someone says something and the other person misinterprets it, it those sorts of jokes are in anime a lot, but a lot of the time they don't work super well because of the language differences. They just don't come across well enough. But um, that one came across fine. I had no problems with that one. So uh, I think that one just happens to translate fine and nicely um between languages or the or the dub translators just did a great job i don't know um uh there was a lot of sweet moments in this episode i really liked seeing ruse's nice side because last episode she was just kind of distant and i couldn't quite tell if she was nice or not she's very nice and this episode was uh, a good way to show that the moment with like the dog like uh, Na Naomi telling her like hit hey, you sit stay and then she like turned around and growled at her and then did a cute little bark That was adorable the voice actors for both Naomi. I mean all the voice actors, but especially for Naomi and uh, Rouge are Fucking delightful Rouge's voice. I I hope to follow that actress's uh, career for a while because she's doing an amazing job um, And yeah, that war machine action scene was pretty fucking sweet. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a uh, uh, it was like really cool design for those machines. They seemed very powerful, but it was also quick. It didn't overstay its welcome. So that was a speed run through a discussion. Normally that discussion would take me 10, 15 minutes, but I went right through it. As I said, I'm sorry that I'm in a rush today, but that's just, it's just how the cookie crumbles. But thanks for watching. Um, support the video if you want to see more. Like, comment, subscribe, and my Patreon account's in the description below for full length early access and exclusive videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.